Hey everybody, Molly here from my channel Molly Fitz Brown and today we are at Bush Gardens in Tampa Bay to see everything they have new going on. So they have summer nights happening right now and there is a firework show happening tonight and they also have red, white and brews going on and a brand new ice skating show. So we are so excited to get in there and see the new show and then we're gonna hop on I some rides. I finally get to so, do the ride Cobra's Curse. Yes, guys. Cobra's Curse had been down for routine maintenance our last couple trips and we are so excited to go hop on the ride. So I think we're gonna head to the show first. It's at four o'clock and we got 30 minutes to get there so let's go have some fun. All right here, right at the entrance we see Summer Nights. They have a special photo spot here where they would take your picture and you can stop and get some fun pictures taken. This should be the Moroccan Palace, it says, and I believe that's where our show is. Rhythm of Nature, and there's the show times. We're here for the four o'clock show. I'm excited to get inside, like this cool building. In a faraway land, rich with tradition, young Dakari stands at the edge of destiny, poised to become the next great leader.
Okay, so we just got out of the show and really awesome. wow, that was amazing. What was your favorite part? Uh, Everything. <laughs> yeah. I know. I think the butterflies were super cool. I love the little butterfly outfits and the people that got to go up and twirl. That was some great choreography. Everybody should yeah. see that. The main guy who just was out there doing stuff the whole time did a great job and I personally loved all the music. I loved how they had regular songs people would know and you could kind of dance around to and sing along with and it was really really cool so yeah all right yes. must see this summer you gotta yeah. come see the new show yeah, you gotta come down and see the show and now it's ride time you ready to do oh, some yeah, rides we're gonna do cobra's curse guys cobra's we're actually curse. gonna do it this time though let's I go promise. it's only 15 minutes To this cool gift shop with all these animals and dolls. Oh, a hot pink shirt, Bush Gardens. Oh, that's really cool. I also really like this one because I got a. Oh, that's the kid one. Here's the grown up one. All right, so we have just completed Cobra's Curse. Patrick got to ride three times once me, once with dad, and then I went back again because he was so excited. He finally got to ride it. We got on three times. So what did you think? Uh, I would say the hype was definitely there because I had to wait so long to do it. When I did it, the hype stayed. It's an amazing <laughs> ride. The screams are cheetah going by, by the way. <laughs> I'm still trying ride. to talk him into cheetah. I think he would love it. The shooting up seems like the scariest part. The roll is going to be so fast you won't even know it's there. But we're going to head to Scorpion now and see what we find there. So let's go. All right, well, we're going to walk in and look at pizza here at the Serengeti Overlook. I know they have some delicious pizza here we ate last time. All right, so I totally forgot to film the food, but we had a cheese pizza and a margarita pizza, and that was good. And now we're going to go do some more snacks, or some more rides, and then we'll find some more snacks. Lemurs. Hello, lemurs. Lemurs and birds messing. Hippos back there. Hippos. There's the hippos. They're back there by the fence. Okay, we're trying to find our way to the scorpion ride, but we're snaking through an animal trail here. So we love getting to see the animals while we're at Bush Gardens. That is one of their highlights of the park. They have the rides, they have the shows, but don't forget the animals. The animals are Logan's favorite part. The hyenas right there sleeping. Wow. Man, that cheetah ride looks like a lot of fun, but we're heading to Scorpion right now. But man, whenever I see that cheetah ride go by, it's always fun to stop and film the ride. Oh, we got the Asian elephant, and there they are. Oh, all three of 
have them hanging out yeah. together. Parents and their kids <laughs> Look at the misty tunnel, guys. They're trying to cool you off as you go through. I'm gonna have to hide my camera. All right, so I can see the top of Phoenix Rising from here. And they do have the car on the track and it is slowly going up to the peak right now, which means they are definitely test running that car. So the last time I was here at Bush Gardens, we were here for the media preview, the behind the scenes hard hat tour of Phoenix Rising. So Phoenix Rising is not quite open yet, but I can't wait for it to be open because we will definitely be back to ride that ASAP. Here's the main sign coming in 2024. There are people up at the top of the lift. I see some green jackets up there working on the lift. All right, here it goes, an official test run. because I knew he would love it, so he did, he loved it. You barely feel, feel yeah. yourself go upside down. It's like one second, boop, and then it's over. And then I it's just it. wild ride from there. It is a intense loop-de-loop -loop at the end, so. All right, so right here at Dragonfire, they also have the Icon Show. So here's their time, so there's nothing happening right now. We got 30 minutes till they come back. But they're also having some really cool shows going on in Dragonfire right now, too. All right, so now we stopped at Rita's and got some frozen custard. Man, that vanilla and chocolate is so creamy. Delicious. It is delicious. Better than ice cream. And now that Patrick has gone upside down, we are heading back to Cheetah Hunt. So yes, I think I'm gonna do it now. he's going to ride it. I've been desperate to ride Cheetah Hunt for a long time. I'm just nervous about that shoot you up real high in the air thing. But nerves are nerves. I can ride a ride. Let's do it. Okay, so guys, my review of the upside down ride that I did. I feel like this is one of the greatest days of my life because I overcome something I said I would never do, an upside down ride. And a review if you don't want to do one. nervous for a while. Yes, if you don't want to do one, if you're feeling like you're too scared to do one, don't worry, trust me, like from Patrick himself, okay? You don't even really feel it, right? Deeply, a deep message, guys. You're not gonna feel it, okay? You're not gonna feel it, it's you too fast. You might feel a little dot, <gasps> but like Cheetah. it's I very easy to overcome. Okay, we have to walk past these beautiful yeah, elephants again dog. on the way to Cheetah Hunt. I love these giant elephants. Look, he's right here. A second. Oh, it's so beautiful. We found the lion. like the coolest yeah. lion encounter we've ever had. All right, we can't walk by a giraffe and a zebra without stopping to look as well. All right, we're here at Cheetah Hunt. We're waiting in line. I oh, yeah. not front, but here it's we just, go. I don't know, guys. In today's video, you might just randomly see me just hopping on every okay. ride. I don't know why I'm doing this today, guys. I don't know. We're doing it, though. You know, not everybody gets to have the experience growing up and going to these places. Yeah. And if I'm going to go here, i got to live it 
to the fullest. You gotta do it. Yeah. You do feel that little rush of kind of like leave your seat because you went up so fast. Woo! Look at that cute bird. So we are now walking over by the Iron Guazi to see the cool nighttime summer spectacular Iron Guazi show thing that they have going on over there. So here we go, another show. Okay, so we are at the Iron Guazi and there is the stage and this is where the drummer is.
Okay, so this is the festival walkway right past the Iron Guazi where they also have red, white, and brews going on. And then the fireworks are tonight at 8.45, so we got it one hour. All right, so while we are waiting on fireworks, we're gonna come do a little bit of shopping too because this main shop at the front had the most pens. We're coming to see all these pens. They did have some really cute new ones, but they say past member exclusive. With the new animals too. They're not out on display I I yet, but oh, and the lion. Wow, and then they have some new animals over here. The lion, we saw the girl lion, but man, that was neat. Yeah. All right, I ended up with a scorpion pen because it was Patrick's first time on the ride with me going got upside too. down. Patrick got one too. Here we are with a pretzel and cheese and a Coke, and we're heading to the fireworks. Look at all these pretty rocks. Everything's red, white, and blue. Okay, so now we are out in the area where the fireworks are gonna be, and we see they have some cool ladies out with things lit up, so here we go. Hi. All right, we got hula hoops, we got beach balls, we got entertainment and music, and we are waiting for fireworks.
cute she is too. Bye. <laughs> oh my God, those fireworks were amazing. I swear that's one of like the closest shows we've seen. It seemed like the fireworks were like right up above us yeah, and they were yeah. huge Out and colorful and they kept going up one after the other. All the giant ones. Oh, I love the giant ones. And the ones that go and fizzle everywhere. Oh my God. Yes, between starting with the awesome ice skating show and ending with the awesome fireworks show, summer nights is definitely super awesome fun here at Busch Gardens. Thank you for visiting Busch Gardens. Everybody is rushing to the exit because it is now officially 9 o'clock and the park is closing. All right, we're officially heading to the car. What an amazing day we had here for Bush Garden Summer Nights. Very crazy. So thank you for joining us on our magical adventures. I will see you real soon next time.